Hey everyone and welcome. In this video I'm going to be quickly showing you how to purchase Smith & Stones 1 and 2 from an NPC as many times as you want. First things first, for this you need to be able to have access to the round table hold. Then you need to make your way to the northwest part of the map towards the crystal tunnel. If you start from the Stormhill shack you can go under this big bridge all the way across this other smaller bridge here and make your way all the way around. You can make your way to this tunnel without having to deal with any bosses just freely ride your horse all the way up here. It's definitely worth making your way through this cave because there are a lot of materials for you to get Smith and Stone 1, 2 and 3 and even somber Smith and Stones as well which are good to have. Also there is quite a few elevators in this cave it's definitely worth jumping off as well checking every single corner making sure you do not miss any materials. Now once you arrive to where you need to go there is a boss fight and you do need to kill this boss in order to get the item that you need to be able to buy these things. So if you do not want this boss to be spoiled feel free to skip along to this number in the video. If you are still here right now that means you don't mind seeing the boss. So once you get into the boss fight you'll notice that this boss is a crystal boss. What you don't want to be using is using any sharp weapons or anything like that. I found that out when I was hitting him with absolutely no damage being done at all. So what I did do is I switched to a blunt weapon, either a hammer or a club or anything like that. And as you can see, now that I'm using a club, which isn't even upgraded, I was absolutely destroying this boss. It's pretty easy, it's not hard to deal with at all. Once you've defeated this boss, this will drop the item that you need. The Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Burring. Now all you need to do is simply make your way back to the round table hold, give the bell burring to this NPC, and now you are able to buy the Smithing Stones 1 and 2 unlimited. So if you pair this with the farming tips that I gave in the other video, you're going to be able to get all your weapons up to at least plus 6. And that's pretty much that. So if this helps you, feel free to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and that's it. Enjoy!